Are we working, boys? I think we're back at it. Aha! <laughs> Skyrim's loading, by the way. <gasps> there it is, in all of its beautiful, bountiful glory. <laughs> all right, so we are continuing with Dragonborn today. All right, let me crack. Let me crack another cold one. You have to. Cheers. I had a long day on my feet. And I want to relax. Don't often get to relax. But here we are. All right, what do we got to do today? Who search for Baldor, Iron Shaper, the Smith, and Skull Village has gone missing. Ah. What's the... What do we have? What was the... Oh, the, uh, the, the beer hall with the uh, Reichlings. That's a, that's a freaking fun quest. All right, there's Baldor Iron Shaper. So do we take this really long way to get there? Mm, I'd say we go from Kagramez. I mean, why not? Why not, guys? <laughs> oh, it's good to be back in Skyrim. I had a busy day, y'all. I stood on my feet a lot. I, I had to, you know, thankfully I wasn't the best man. I didn't have to, I didn't have to do any speeches. Oh, I'm terrible at speeches. At least speeches like that. I'm good at business speeches and stuff. I'm not good at making things sappy. That's, that's not who I am. Let me, let me fix my audio here. I'm a little loud, a little loud in my own ear. But other than that, you know, the wedding today was pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'm glad it wasn't my own. Uh, I'm not ready for that yet. But what I am ready to do is quest in Skyrim. Because that's what I love. <laughs> and luckily, the wedding went off without a hitch. Which is pretty great. Da, da, da. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's find out what happened to the Smith Baldor Iron Shaper. All right, what secret? Whoop, whoop. Oh, okay. Uh, we got some, we got some bad people around, and you know what that means? That means we should sneak because that's what our build is based on. <laughs> be pretty damn foolish if we went. Now I'm assuming that these are bandits. I'm assuming they're hostile. Yep. <laughs> I, I knew we wouldn't be able to uh, to sneak kill them right in front of each other, but worth a shot. Worth a freaking shot, mate. All right, there's two down. Come here, people. Ooh, we need a we need a heal. Uh, that's regeneration. No, thank you. All right, three down. Ooh, and a one shot on our good friend Thalmo Soldier. Thank you very much, sir. Come again. Oh, that requires a key. I'm guessing it is on one of these beautiful people. Uh, what do we have? Ooh. Nice and light. Nice and light. I like light armor. Very easy to carry a lot. Very quick to sell. All right, there's the abandoned lodge. There's a handwritten note, and there's some leather armor. Do we check? Dapper Dan, hey man, how'd the wedding go? What's up, Destructo? <laughs> the wedding actually went really well. Um, the weeding, yeah. <laughs> I was like, man, I got one more night with the tuxedo. Let's wear it. Let's wear it, guys. I never get to wear a tuxedo. <laughs> Although I took the jacket off. It's right here. It's too damn hot. I'm in need of rescue. But uh, anyways, yeah, the wedding went well. My friend, who is super, super, super clumsy, didn't... Did I get hitched? No, it was my friend's wedding. <laughs> uh... But he's a very, very clumsy guy, and he didn't break anything. He didn't faint. He didn't throw up. He didn't uh, drop the bride. 
it was great. <laughs> I was expecting all of the above to happen. In case you were curious. Uh, what do we have? Ooh. Oh, it's just my knight. First, first, uh, first lock pick of the night. Oh, I shouldn't pickpocket this guy. I should be I'll saving him. <laughs> I remember you. You're the one who freed the skull from the dark spell. Also, you, you like the you like the the microphone? I actually set it up. Taken me from my home. I play guitar, and I sometimes record guitar. But I never had this this stand and this uh, you know, noise blocky thing. <laughs> so I never actually used it. I always used my headset. But I was like, this just sounds too good. No. Also, no, my wounds are not I'm a lot louder now. Do I need to turn it down? I don't think the elves would plan to harm you. Perhaps they intend. Because if to if I do, let me know. At worst, I have a few bruises. I do not know this word Balmor. But if you mean to elf, no, sweet. To learn the secrets of forging skulls. Their leader. This is the Mike's elf. maiden voyage on a voice and not a, a guitar amplifier. It that it shows the it's good for you. Sweet. Stallrim? What's that? As hard as iron and as cold as death. As cold as death. Stallrim can be forged into deadly weapons. The art is known only to the smiths. <laughs> I'm a pro streamer now. Okay, what did it? Was it the bow tie or was it the microphone? <laughs> they have a ship. They took me there. And the Encurian. You will find it on the northern coast of the island. <laughs> yeah, lol. <laughs> right? I will return to the village. When you have the map, please bring it to me there. Retrieve the stole rim source map. Excellent. I think I actually know where that boat is. I think I saw it the last time I played. Okay, what is up with my mouse today? It is like super slow. I think I accidentally unplugged it when I plugged in the mic and messed up the DPI. Yeah, let me let me fiddle with this real quick. Oh my god, that is so low. Okay. <laughs> How was your day, Destructo? You've heard it you've heard enough about my clumsy friend's wedding. Although I do after after you go, I, I have a pretty good uh a pretty good little uh anecdote from the uh rehearsal dinner that's worth sharing. Alright. Oh my god, okay, never mind. I didn't know where it was. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna travel here and then we're just gonna like jump down the coast. Cause that'll be a lot easier. Good, took it easy. Oh shit, that's a frost dragon. It's hot as balls here. Dude, it is hot as balls here as well, my friend. Also, I really wanna ignore that dragon. I don't wanna fight him yet. <laughs> I wanna I wanna get the quest done. Well that's that's good to see that good to hear you had a good day, man. My day was very busy. Weddings are, uh, weddings are always interesting. Run, I'm trying. <laughs> Alright, let's heal. I think if we just, like, get inside in this dungeon, we'll be okay. Hey, we found Karstag. That'll make DJ happy. You know, I actually may just dive in here. Reset aggro. Oh, what? Oh, that's a master. Never mind. <laughs> oh, if he kills us, I'm going to be so sad. Because we are supposed to be finding this boat down yonder. Let me see if I can uh, sneak, because we're at a distance now. Oh, you can see us. Okay, we're dead. <laughs> I, tr I tried, man. I tried to get us to the quest. Yeah, rip. <laughs> Don't worry. We have, a, we have a backup plan. Oh, okay. But yes, my anecdote uh, from the rehearsal dinner. Okay, so... Uh, so my friend. His wedding. He's a total klutz, dude. I mean, everything that can go wrong will go wrong with this guy. So we're in the rehearsal dinner. Or doing our rehearsal, I should say. 
and uh, he was practicing like dipping his bride and like you know kissing her and dipping her and she's in a very short dress so he goes in to dip her and just like spills her on the floor <laughs> in front of all of the groomsmen just totally drops her on her head and uh, you know straight flashes all the groomsmen <laughs> And so someone was watching from the crowd, and they're like, everyone's eyes went straight to the ceiling. <laughs> I was like, that would be, that was bad, man. That was really bad. Just drop your bride, why don't you? Uh, we're fighting, I guess. It was pretty funny, dude. It was pretty funny. I was like, this would totally happen to you, man. But they have it on video, and we all looked, we all immediately looked up. So she's like, I know you're all good guys. <laughs> I was like, thank you. It was pretty funny. Okay, okay. I, I need a, I need a, I need a focus. <laughs> I'm too tired. I was too, I'm too focused on my story. Yeah, it was pretty funny. It was pretty pretty hysterical, dude. I think that's only like the third wedding or something that I've actually been to. I don't go to many. Did you peek? No. <laughs> I couldn't live with myself, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, I watched until I knew she was going to hit the ground. Because I was like, okay, like, wow, Sam. Like, what, woo, his name's Sam. I was like, dude, you're going really deep on that dip. Uh, are you okay? And then, and then he just fucking dropped her. And I was like, oh, my God. I was like, this is perfect. And I, I mean, if, <laughs> I wonder if any of the other groomsmen did. I want to see the film. Like, you know, who who is the creepy uncle here? I know it wasn't me. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna actually do this right. There we go. Was she hurt? No, she was she wasn't hurt. She was just very embarrassed, as you can imagine. But luckily it was just the rehearsal, not the actual uh not the actual wedding, you know, because that would have been that would have been that would have been bad. Okay, is this all mountains right here? Okay. I think we can probably jump down. Yeah, all in all, not too bad. Not too bad. She was just embarrassed, and I'm sure was, like, ready to fight him. Like, you idiot. <laughs> you know? Hey, we avoided the dragon. I mean, it's a wedding. It's a wedding. Something has to go bad, right? Any drunken incidents? Okay, no. So, um, uh, un unlike myself, uh, they are very, uh, very devout uh, Christians, which you know people are totally cool. So they actually had a dry wedding. Now I know <laughs> that plenty of people brought flasks, but I think having it uh, not open bar really prevented any drunken incidents. Okay, can we jump into the water? That's a good question. Plenty of those in my family? Dude, plenty of those in every family. I mean, that was the first non-drunken incident wedding I've ever seen. But I, I mean, it's because they didn't have a bar. Okay, okay. Alright, we made it. Now I'm assuming, because this is a quest, that these people are hostile. Yep, they're Thalmor. God, I hate the elves. Why does, why, why does it gotta be the elves, man? Those are the worst when you have to bring a full color of beer in one trunk. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Um, yeah, exactly. I really just want to, like, clip this guy in the face, see what happens. Actually, it's too good. It's too good. 
Because we have the stealth kill on him because his buddy walked away. Oh, never mind. They're, they're not hostile. I strongly suggest you move out. I have business to discuss you for your leader. Okay, let's let's talk to their leader. Let's uh let's see what let's see what we got. You there. You are not the leader. You there. You are also not the leader. Oh, of, of course it's the guy in the robe. <laughs> you are interfering with official business. Guys, I'm here about the stall rim map. So you know my purpose here. When was the last wedding you went to? I hadn't honestly been to one. Probably like, probably like three years. God, it'd been a long time. I have no choice but to silence you. Now, give me one good reason that I should not kill you where you stand. This guy wants to. This guy wants to kill us. Oh shit. The blacksmith won't talk. You're wasting your time. You dare to question me? That insult will be your last. Shit, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're probably dead here. We may have to reload. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna load that quick save. <laughs> Four or five years, yeah. I wonder if I can sneak attack him just from like sitting behind him. Oh, bo oh boy, I think I can. Oh, I should have. I should have used my dagger. He would have died immediately. My brother got married on a ship, like a cruise ship. That's pretty cool. All right, we're uh, we're gonna ditch and uh, reposition on the coastline. Oh shit! I didn't realize they had an archer right there. All right, they can still see us. Holy crap! GD Thalmor, for real. Alright, we disappeared. Oh, he found us. <laughs> I thought we gave him the old Shadow Assassin slip. So did your brother get married on a cruise ship? Because in all honesty... I've never even been on a cruise ship. <laughs> oh man, how can they see us, man? We're Shadow Assassin. Come on. Oh, that's the wrong spell. Alright, was it a carnival? <laughs> my, uh, my friend who got married, he's actually going on a cruise for his honeymoon. So I'm kind of jealous. Come here, fool. Good night. Yes, actually. Okay. Well, I'm glad it didn't tip over. They have a lot of bad, bad press these days. Leave them naked on the beaches. That is what the Thalmor deserve. Would you recommend a cruise? I don't know. I guess I kind of, I'm not claustrophobic, but I feel kind of weird like being stuck out at sea, you know? Like, I don't know how I'd feel about that. You would recommend it? Okay. Good night, son. All right, let's find the uh, stall rim map. Oh, a silverhawk bow. 23, thank you very much. All right, Thalmor are good for something, guys. It's official. <laughs> okay, even when we dropped the bow, we're over encumbered? That's pretty sad. There we go. And man, it's hard being a thin little Khajiit. Starroom source map. Alright, we can take that. Don't need those. That doesn't that doesn't do anything for us. 
it's like a resort that moves. Ooh. I know my uh my friend he's going to Cozumel, Jamaica, and God, what's the other place? It's Cozumel, Jamaica, and, and, and somewhere else in the Caribbean. I can't remember off the top of my head. Dark Brotherhood missions. I haven't done them yet. No, this is uh this is just Dragonborn uh missions. We stopped on S. What is S, my friend? <laughs> Oh, okay. Uh, let's not break into his house. Let's just wait. <laughs> I, I, I love you, man. I don't want to speak to you that much. <laughs> oh, he's still okay. Oh, here he is. We docked in San Juan. Ooh, that sounds fun. Did you find the elves at the ship? I know you face great danger. I brought you the map to the Stallroom source. No words to tell how glad in Mexico. Thank you, friend. Yeah, not so good lately. Name you friend of the yeah, Star. yeah. I will trust you. Uh, at least not for American tourists. <laughs> if you bring Stallroom here to my forge, you can use my tool until our next meeting, Skull friend. Yo, this guy has beautiful Perhaps eyes. What the heck? And their crops grow tall and bountiful. It's like this strong Nord man got these crystal I eyes. Oh crap. All right, we're talking to him too. San Juan is Puerto Rico. Wow. Uh, I am not up to date on my geography. <laughs> Thank you for correcting me, Destructo. Also, let me guess, you need me to do something dangerous. That sounds about our MO. Okay, so yeah, San Juan and uh, Puerto Rico, yeah, not so good after that hurricane. Yeah. Just an FYI. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Alright, well, he's sending us to some ruins, so that's at least action-packed. By an earthquake All right, let me, let me uh, adjust my camera here. I'd love to have a closer look. Don't mind me moving, it's blocking my chat. <laughs> I'm no adventurer. I'll pay you to watch my back down there. I'll be heading back there soon. If you're interested, meet me at the ruins and we'll see what we can find. Meet now, me the ruins. Alright, we have started the lost legacy. Most incredible. Travel to Valok's tomb. Should probably select the quest. Just for now. What do you mean? You mean uh, San Juan is not good just for now? Or do you mean... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I shall wait for clarification. Alright, let's go to Valak's tomb. Also, let me make sure I finished this quest. I think we did. All right. Just me for now. Okay, I apologize. I misread that. But yes. Correct me when it's just you. <laughs> so that I don't make the mistake when it's everyone. Well, I was, I was also moving the camera because the... Uh, Okay, so I don't have a dual monitor. I have, uh, like, my tablet set up here. I have a Surface, and it was on top of it. And my chat was actually kind of behind my monitor, so I actually couldn't read what you were saying. <laughs> Completely, I had, to, I had to move to the side. But, you know, Destructo, I also want you to have my best angle. I mean, of course. You know, why wouldn't I? <laughs> All right, here's Valak's tomb into the depths. All 
All right, all right. I need to just get two monitors. I mean, if we're being completely honest. But this will have to do for now. <laughs> yes, I, I have contacts in. I, I actually need to order more, which is why most of my streams have glasses. And I usually switch to my glasses at night, which is when I stream. So, so no, you're not crazy. I, I do have contacts in. <laughs> Yeah, if I didn't, I wouldn't be able to read. Uh, I wouldn't be able to read chat. <laughs> it'd, just, it'd just be squiggles. I was wondering if you would notice. I'm not gonna lie. I was like, let's see, let's see. <laughs> We got a dragon language expert right here, Mr. Tharstan. Step aside. A sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. I mean, this bald guy is looking like a mighty fine sacrifice. <laughs> All right, my first instinct is I have to pull this Draugr body into the flames. You look nice, well-groomed, and polished. Thank you, sir, very much. I was a groomsman, so I had to be. <laughs> I, I was in the bridal party. Oh, it's dragon claws. No, thank you. Those are always some of the worst. Burn, baby, burn. It didn't work. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> it seemed like a good idea. At least I thought it seemed like a good idea. All right, let's try two. Maybe it's just two. <laughs> Maybe he's lonely. No, he's not lonely. All right, shit. Okay, what do we do now? I guess we have to explore. <laughs> Let's throw on candlelight so we can actually see what we're doing. Well, I don't think the answer is down there in the water. Nice attempt. I mean, it made sense with the riddle. I thought it did. But I guess a Draugr isn't really a sacrifice because it's not alive. Alright, well that's a dead end. Hmm. Will we have to consult the wiki? Or will we figure this out? That is always the question. <laughs> okay. Did this old man just kill all these freaking Draugrs? That's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. This place was a remarkable find. Hmm. Do you have any insights? Something's meant to go into the fire. Something's meant to go into the fire. Right behind me. And it's not me. <laughs> At times like this, history truly comes alive for me. This is most exciting. What was it? Yes, of course. It said a sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. Very a well. sacrifice will bring you closer to that which you seek. Something goes in the fire. It's not me. Sacrifice yourself. End the game. <laughs> Does anyone remember that dragonborn who was supposed to save the world? <laughs> yeah, he killed himself in some fucking Draugr tomb. <laughs> I don't think that's it, Destructo, but I think, I mean, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Let's be Walking in these chambers is like I feel like I have to kill the guy, but I feel like that's bad. So let me quick save. Walking in these chambers. <laughs> so walked into fire. He did. I mean, oh my god. He, I mean, he thought he was the savior, but apparently not. Uh, do we kill them, old man? <laughs> I like the emote, dude. Your emo, your emote game is strong, man. Walking in these chambers is like walking in the I don't think so. Okay, you're right. I mean, it, all right. Uh, 
Hmm. Maybe it's three Draugr. <laughs> and if it's not, uh, I can consult the wiki. Hey, hey, you, come here. Quit lounging around. You're not the one who's supposed to be tired today. That's me. Okay, so I don't think the Draugr barbecue is the answer. Walking in these chambers is like walking in the sacrifice. Sacrifice. I mean, there's just so many dead bodies around here. It just makes me. It just makes me uh, feel like that's that's what we're supposed to do. Can't really see if there's a chain or anything around here. You can wiki. I won't tell. Don't worry. I am not too proud to wiki. <laughs> I see a door over there. Oh, sweet, a coin purse. Huh. Interesting. Alright. We are going to sink to that level. Alright, what's the name of this place? Valak's Tomb. Alox Tomb Puzzle. What do we have to sacrifice? If it's going to be the old man, I'm, I'm going to... Okay, a tomb uncovered. When you examine the room... Danton's hit. Oh my god, are you kidding me? I was right! I was right, Destructo. <laughs> I was actually three times right. You know what we have to do? We drag them onto the grate, and then we hit the button. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Did we open a door? We opened the door. There we go. There we go, guys. Hey. Big money. <laughs> See, I knew it was too good to be true. All right, let's uh, go into stealth. I thought you meant the old man. <laughs> no. Well, okay. I meant the old man for a minute. Okay, we got a sleeping Draugr up ahead. He looks like a Death Lord. Let me save. Can I tell you to wait? That would be very helpful. Oh, I can't. No, he's going to ruin our stealth. Yep, he already did. <laughs> uh, can I can I speed run this? Okay. Oh, so close. <laughs> Man, that's the that's the trouble with having a companion on a quest. Ooh, Ooh there we go. Destructor, that went a lot better than I thought it would. Let's quick save because that 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 went really perfectly. <laughs> Good night, my friend. Uh, keep our eyes peeled for any other shenanigans. Yeah, I don't see anyone else. Activate the chain. No, for a hot second there, I thought we had to sacrifice the old man. <laughs> but my first instinct was the Draugr. Uh, Nord sword, Nord bow, staff of flames. What is this? We have another puzzle, I guess. Uh, but I can't read this one. So that's interesting. Let's see if he can. Other than that flask, there doesn't seem to be anything else worthy of note. Let's see what the inscription says. All men must die, often by their own hands. Sounds rather grim if you ask me. Huh. The inscription must be a reference to these pillars. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you would, dude. That's total witcher. Yep. Three pillars surrounding a central one. Perhaps that's you'd have to sacrifice him, his family, and then after you did that, you'd come back, uh, you know, after ten hours of playthrough. And the entire village would be burned to the ground. Drawings I've seen of objects called impact stones. Well, 
you'll see what you can figure out. I'm going to inspect these pillars further to see if I've missed something. Okay. Impact pillars. I, uh... Ah, that's the trick. That's the trick. So I guess I have to use... <laughs> great minds, man. Great minds. I think I have to use each of the different... Weapons. Yep. Alright, this one's a little easier. This one's nice. This one's my level. It's nice in kindergarten level. Which one was this? Uh, it's a staff. Do I have a staff? I have a staff of soul trapping. Let's see if that works. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Am I crazy or was there a staff right here? Did it just like move around? Well, those fell on the... Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm not crazy. Not yet. There you go. Now let's see what entries await us. Thank you very much. Excellent. That's all puzzles nowadays. Puzzles, hard puzzles are a thing in the past. I mean, you're kind of right, yeah. All right, let's quick save. Let's quick save before the ward of power and inevitable death lord. Oh shit, okay. Goon squad. Oh, we're not hidden. What did I say, man? <laughs> get up, get up. For a second I thought he one-shot me and I'm like, if he fucking did, that, that would be crazy. I remember games like, uh, <laughs> yeah, right? I remember games like uh, Zelda, Billy Hatcher, early 2000s platformers. Man, those puzzles, they held, they held nothing back from you. It was all puzzles. The entire game was puzzles. Oh, Lord, this is going to suck. <laughs> Hey, man, we're doing more damage than Alderaan, right? That's good. Alright, let's back up. I want the old man in here to help me. I don't, I don't think he's gonna help me. <laughs> I wonder if I can drop aggro. Silent Hill 2 hard puzzle mode was brutal. Did hard puzzle mode change the puzzles from normal mode? That I mean, that is pretty brutal. But that, that also is pretty cool because it gives you a, second, uh, a better second playthrough. Okay, sweet. I'm dropping aggro. Wow. I've never played a game like that. I can hear him. You know, I have <laughs> the surround sound headphones. I can hear him, like, walking up the stairs. Okay, he's just chilling over there. Let's, uh, let's sneak around the side. What are you yelling at? Oh, the old man? Come on. Don't ruin this. Yeah, yeah the old man ruined it. Ooh, let's not die, please. Headphones makes games so much more intense. They do. They, and they are such an advantage. Especially in uh especially in games like uh like Counter Strike and things like that. Oh my god, this is gonna be a slog again. I hate having companions. Horror games do become terrifying, 100%. What do 
do we got? What do we got? We got some vigorous healing. Remind me to buy health potions if you can, because I will forget. You know what? Let's, uh... Oh, we don't have enough magicka. Rip. I think we're just going to have to keep hitting and running. I mean, there's there's no real way to uh, do this effectively. All right, speaking of horror games, what's your favorite horror game? Off the top of my head, I'm probably going to say Dead Space 1 for me. Oh, shit. He's, he's trying to kill the old man. <laughs> That's classic. Get up, get up. Oh god, don't kill me. <laughs> Silent Hill series? Okay. I, I, The only Silent Hill I honestly ever played was uh, with the one on the PSP. I didn't actually... What is this? Oh, this is uh, Amethyst Claw. Okay, so the other side of the dungeon. Is this better than the other bow I just got? Ebony bow? Wow, it's much better. Okay. I'll drop three of these. Yeah. Okay. Dude, that's the worst one. I know. <laughs> it was pretty bad. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I got it at a GameStop used for like 10 bucks or something, you know. I, I, I maybe played it five times. <laughs> but I do like survival horrors. And I was like, man, why don't I like this game? And uh, as I've grown older, I think... I think it's just because it's a shitty game. <laughs> Okay, he said there's an exit through one of these sarcophagi. Well, there it is. Bam. Right in front of us. The history of the skull. Would you imagine? Alien Isolation. I bought that during a Steam sale, and I didn't give it a fair run. I need a, I need to play it again. I uh, I really liked it, and then I went and and played another game. But I've heard it's one of the best, like you know, survival horrors at least of this generation. It does happen, man. This that's it's a good problem to have. But there's too many good games out. <laughs> you just can't play them all, you know? Alright, let's see if this is uh, what goes here. There we go. Alright, to the other side. I'm guessing that's where the other dungeon ends, right up there. Okay, so if I have to play a Silent Hill series, because I do, uh, I do do some emulation every now and then. Which which one of the Silent Hills do I should I play? I've heard the Room a lot, like Silent Hill. Uh, what is that three? Silent Hill two or three? Two then three. Okay. Were you ever a Resident Evil guy? I mean, if you're a Silent Hill fan, I mean, that, that kind of fan base kind of runs together. Money. The room is four. Okay, yeah. Thank you for the correction. Like I said, I am I am not a Silent Hill scholar. Ugh, shit, broke it. Ooh. At least we got the level up. Oh, that's worse. There we go. Resident Evil 2. 
Oh my god, I wanted to play that so bad. I totally forgot it existed though. Holy Wow, thank you for the reminder. I need to get that. I, I did, uh, Resident Evil, you know, I, I, in my head, like Silent Hill and Resident Evil are like, like you know, direct competitors that kind of run parallel to each other. Um, Resident Evil was the side that I chose. Mainly because in the early days I was a Nintendo kid. So I, I, I pretty much just had more... Uh, Resident Evil availability. It was too scary for you to finish, really. Mr. X get to you? <laughs> One, the riddle is most likely referring to these flat square stones. Two, I'm not going anywhere near them. Okay, we got another puzzle. Walking in these chambers. Have you tried to walk on the plates without stepping on the same one twice? Oh, that's easy enough. Very well. Let's see. That is easy enough. Hey, we did it. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, quick save so we don't have to keep puzzling. Oh, Draugr. I should uh, probably get my weapons out. Good night, my friend. Oh, Death Lord. I bet the old man's gonna ruin it again. Oh. Oh, that was so sneaky he didn't feel it. <laughs> he not he disarmed me. Come on, man. Alright, there we go. One down. Two down, I should say. Silent Hill is more about atmosphere and story. Resident Evil is more action. Yeah, you're right. Oh boy, that is a thick man right there. Let me, uh, let me get another, uh, there we go. Ha having companions makes these dungeons much harder. Ooh, he large. I did play a lot of Resident Evil back in the day. I beat Resident Evil 5. I got really close to beating 4, but it crashed. Uh, so terribly much. Let me favorite this. Because uh, he disarmed my other sword. We're just gonna have to slugfest him, sadly. Because the, like the other Death Lord, the old man is gonna give our position away. That's why I travel alone, guys. Where is my sword? Oh god, I hate it when people do this. Down. Where is the other? <laughs> That's arrows. That won't that won't help. Oh no, thank you. Sorry, Destructo. Let me focus on not dying. There we go. Another player has entered the battle. <laughs> I always forget that I have the Sanguine Rose. Thank you for your service. Alright, uh, there we go. Sweet. Back to oblivion with you, fiend. <laughs> Let's find out what's written here. Let's find out. This writing refers to a guardian who inspired both men and dragons. I wonder if the guardian was himself a man or a dragon. 
What's the guardian, a man or a dragon? Who knows? You lead the way. Well, chest empty. That's 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 pretty weak. Come on, I just killed a death lord. All right, so I guess we go back to the main chamber now. I don't see a shortcut. Old man, tell me your secrets. History truly comes alive. This is most exciting. Wouldn't you agree? I would agree. Um, I guess we're running the whole way back. Awkward. I guess it was pretty short considering uh, the other side. You know. Ooh, did I, did I re-grab my knife? I didn't. I'm actually going to go re-grab that knife. Because he disarmed it. And I need, uh, I need the knife for the 15 times sneak attack. Instead of 6. I hate it when they disarm you. That's so annoying. Yeah, who would have lost Dawnbreaker too? There we go. Wow, at Coffee Night, you look great in a tux. Thank you, she reading. <laughs> How is your night going? Are you doing well? I haven't seen you in chat in a while. And also, the jacket is on the floor. <laughs> I hope they don't find me. <laughs> I'm just here, so I don't get fined. All right, we're gonna we're gonna claw the other hole, and I think we get in. There we go, baby. I keep forgetting I gotta wait for the old man. Here's another riddle. Stay your course. To idle is to die. To idle is to die. Remember that. An object in motion stays in motion. I'll just stand over here while you flip that switch. I'm sure everything will be fine. Babu, they will definitely charge you for an incredibly wrinkly jacket. No! <laughs> oh, hey now, look at this. What is this madness? I'll iron it uh, in the morning. I'll stick it in the shower. <laughs> Ooh. What am I saying? I won't iron it. I don't iron anything. I may pop in and out. Have a good night if I fall asleep. <laughs> no worries, Destructo. Thanks for stopping by, man. It's always a pleasure to have you. Um, Let's pull this and see what happens. Oh, okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Oh, there's corrupted shades in the bottom. That's, uh, uh yeah, we don't want to fall there. Uh, let's actually go through this door before we try the other way. N never mind, it's locked. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Whew. Okay, there we go, there we go. I didn't fall, that's the main thing. So, she reading, how have you been? How was your day? Man, that door's locked too. What is, what is this madness? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, this one's faster. Okay. Uh. Alright, I can still do it. That clearly means I haven't had enough fear. 
My day was great. How was yours? It was very exhausting. Very exhausting. But I look great, so hey, it's all worth it, right? <laughs> let me uh, let me see if I can combine the claws. Or maybe I just stick it in. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Okay, do we have it? Maybe we maybe we wait for the old man. Ooh. Hit the mic stand. Tell us the secrets. <laughs> They will. It seems these frames can be made. Perhaps there's enough undamaged tech to produce etching. Tell us the combination. Oh, they're taking etch etchings. She reading. I know you're an archaeologist. Here's something. The first one has to do with a breeze. A breeze? Wind. Okay. The second one mentions the night sky. The night the sky. Wind. And the third has something to do with fire. It also breeze, night sky, fire. Breeze, okay, bird, wolf, dragon. What I say, bird, wolf, dragon? Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. Can you give me some background on what is going on since I joined late? Okay, we are in a tomb. An ancient Nordic tomb. And we are trying to solve all these puzzles to uh, I think reach a word of power I think I think that's what we're trying to do I think we're trying to get a full word of power which will you know our our guy can do this it's like a shout it's a thum and we're also here because that old bald guy told us to be here so here we are <laughs> All right, this looks like a boss area, so I'm going to grab a quick save. Let me refavorite my gear. Assume a trench knife. Favor that too. Get the knife. There we go. All right, and we are a s Oop. Oh, Lord, Mother, it's a dragon priest. Crap. That was 15 times damage? Are you serious? Okay, so... <laughs> I'm stabbing it, I mean... <laughs> okay, yeah, we may, we may need to reset. Oh, my God. He found us. The old man gave us away. <laughs> I did get one backstab on him, so that's very helpful. Oop. Menuing, menuing. There we go. I do have Shadow Assassin, so I'm hoping I can drop aggro. Not drop an aggro. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's get in there. Oh he hurts. Oh, yeah. Alright. That didn't work. <laughs> Alright, let me remenu here. I didn't realize it was a dragon priest. Dragon priests are probably one of the hardest opponents in the game. Ah, oh, come on. If I can if I don't get a sneak attack on him, I'm going to die. Uh it's just cuz he has very high stats. 
And honestly, it's this guy who's uh, ruining everything for us. Let's be extra careful. Can I lock you out? Sweet. Okay, that's actually very helpful. <laughs> so the problem is, since we're a sneak build, when he runs in, he uh, locks onto our, our good bald friend. Don't see me. Don't see me, please. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna give it one more try. One more try. I do have a potion of invisibility. We're gonna throw everything at it. You can do it. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me get a little closer and then use it. Alright, he found me. <laughs> I mean, I got one in. If I had another one, like if I just had a bunch... This would be so much easier. Do I have more? Let me search. See if I can lose him. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Because it's going to be very difficult if we can't land sneak attacks. All right, he's gonna try and attack our bald friend. God dang it. Oh well. Oh well. Interesting puzzle we have here. <laughs> Trying to think how we face this. Because our build is totally based on sneak attacks. I'm not above lowering the difficulty, though. <laughs> so let me do that. I don't. I don't like being roadblocked. Not on. Uh, not on stream. So how are the oysters? Oh wait, those are tomorrow. It does make me better at Skyrim. <laughs> oh man, we can probably one shot him. Oh yeah, it's so easy, man. You just lower the difficulty. It's a, it's a gimme. All right, well that was pretty much cheating. <laughs> Am I coming tomorrow for oysters? We'll see. I haven't decided yet. I, I, I'll i see how I feel. Because I can't... I don't know. I have to be in the mood for oysters, if you know what I mean. Oh, babe. Look at that. That's cool. Snow bear armor. Look, it's your dad's armor. <laughs> Holy crap, it's 81? Really? Oh my lord, that's sick. Alright, I'm representing Chad. Lord. <laughs> lord, he thick. What do I drop here? Do I just drop the Elven? I think so. Elven helmet. It's better than the chitin helmet? No, it's not. You're full of crap. I still I still need to lose ten pounds. I'm too thick. There we go. Alright, well we got our final word of power, thankfully. He thick. Also, 
how's the mic sound? How's the new mic sound? Am I too loud? Am I good? Do I sound nice? I can get up in your face like this now. I can be inside your head. <laughs> when I was testing it, I really liked how it sounded. Also, let me uh, let me fix my camera. I'm I'm happy it finally delivered. Me too. Me too. Hashtag me too. You live a tough life, don't you? Is he dead? What the fuck is ha- what? Our man was flying. Our man was flying. Did I make the camera worse by turning it that way? Yeah, I did. Okay, there we go. That's that's what I'm trying. I'm trying to be in the center of the frame. <laughs> I think it's just us right now. I'm not sure though. How amazing. How amazing. In all my years as a historian, I never thought I'd see anything like that. I suppose that was Balak. So you never really know. Uh, to be honest, because sometimes there's a delay in the viewer count. So, you always have to be ready. Indeed. I knew that the dragon priests were thought to have been powerful men of great will. Powerful men of great will. No one really knows. That's the beauty of it. No one really knows. <laughs> that is not public in information. I promised payment. And here it is. Now I think I'll spend some more time studying this word war. What a book this will make. We did it. Yay. <laughs> All right, that was it. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be here for the foreseeable future. <laughs> hop. 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 Look at this. They even they even rolled out the uh the blue carpet for us. Let's see if these are unlocked now. They're not. What the heck? Okay, we completed the dungeon and those are still locked. That they I bet they were going to add stuff and then never did. Look at this. Yep, it's barred from the other side. Come on. You like the floor? <laughs> you like this? Are you tripping out, dog? It's kind of it's kind of psychedelic. Ah, uh, okay, let's see what's here. Well, I guess that was actually the shortcut. <laughs> Stay your course. To idle is to die. There's a little bit of Nordic wisdom for you. Hop, hop, hop. Hop. Pop, 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 pop. <laughs> yes. All right, let me uh, let me save, and then I'm gonna check one thing. So I apologize if the game crashes. All right, one second.
Was I echoing at all? Because I realized I'm a total idiot. The new mic sounds good. Sweet. I did I did have a little uh, setup wrong, so I'm glad that it came through. <laughs> Do you like the deep sounds of this sweet, succulent voice? <laughs> the gardener of men. That sounds like something you can get behind. How's the screen working out? You seem to be very close to it. What do you mean? All right, let's go back to Skull Village and talk to the man. <laughs> you know I like the deep voice. <laughs> Should I just talk in the narrator's voice? And now we have arrived in Skull Village. We are here to talk to Bjorn. I can't. That hurt my voice after a while. So the dragons Are you ready to trade your secrets to Hermaeus Mora? But Restone is still corrupted. The land is still out of balance. But with the other five restored, it may be enough. It will have to be. It will have to be. Yes. You mean you'll give him what he wants? The skull also tell of the day when you must finally give up our secrets. When Hermamora finally wins. As shaman, it is my duty to guard these secrets. I believe that time is now. If I am wrong, do you, do you <laughs> my ancestors go with me. Give me the book. I can't do the narrator voice the whole time. I apologize. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to do it. So fancy. Hello, lady. How are you doing? I just I just came from a friend's wedding, so, you know. Had to, had to show out. I have the rental for one more day. May as well. I hope you know what you're doing. Give book. Thank you, thank you. I'm doing well. I'm very tired. It was a very busy day, but it was a good day. My friend, who's who's a total klutz, like, he only messed up during the rehearsal dinner, so, you know, he made it out pretty well. <laughs> yes, congratulations to him. Congrats. Indeed, indeed. And his his best man uh, didn't roast him too hard in his uh, speech, so <laughs> that that even worked out nicely. Oh, he about to get grabbed. There he is. I knew it. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely a bit of teasing. It was actually hilarious. I, I have to be a best man uh, this following summer, and there were a couple lines from the speech that I'm 100% I'm stealing. <laughs> that is that is some freaky stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm sure you had a hot date to the wedding. I did. My girlfriend is very hot. <laughs> But they originally weren't going to allow plus ones, so I'm glad she was able to make it. Nice indeed. Did Casual uh, stream tonight? I was looking for him. I, I may have just looked at the wrong time, though. No, he isn't streaming tonight? Okay. I'm, try I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to support my man. And, uh, you know, give him a host sometime. <laughs> Our schedules line up. They're too perfect. <laughs> you will be either a worthy opponent or his hmm, successor. 
is the time Ooh. Of Gonna be Mirak's successor. I don't know how I feel about that. Great minds think alike. That's all I can Why that's all I gone? can think of. <gasps> is he dead? Is he no. dead, guys? My father sacrificed himself so you could destroy Mirak. Oh and my god, he is. Holy crap. Shadow. I forgot that. <laughs> Go then. Okay, I'm shook. <laughs> well, let me get the black book back. Also, skull boots are worth thirty dollars. They must uh, they must use elk skin or something. And uh, I I was so tired tonight, lady. The Metallica beer had to had to make another appearance. <laughs> I was like, I deserved it. Like I I I jumped through all the hoops. You know, I deserve it. <laughs> I got to unlock these other shouts. Do I have enough souls? I have one more. Yes, I do. Okay. Some wine, but <laughs> I'd be drinking Metallica beer if I had some. I mean, you can never go wrong, wrong with wine. I'm sure she reading will agree with you on that one. Uh, what do I have to do? Do I have to read the book? I should probably check my journal. Yes, read Waking Dreams. Where is it? Waking Dreams. I may not have it. You there. Do not blame me. I know you chose this. I'm also over encumbered, which is awesome. Killing Storm in the process. I now have what I need to return to Apocrypha and face Mirak. I guess. I guess I just read the Black Book, right? Oh, it's Black Book Waking Dreams. That's what it is. Red all the way. There we go, lady. Red, red is the best. Red is the best. You know, I should probably be uh, unencumbered when I try and fight these guys. <laughs> Everything I have is so expensive now. Alright, where's the leather armor? That's going to get the cut. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Cheers, red is the best. There you go. Maybe a bit too much. No such thing, by the way. I'm gonna grab this soul gem and then and then we'll go forward. Damn right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Great minds. Great minds, lady. <laughs> Highly recommend slow press. You can get a Costco. $10 and better than most $30 wines. Whoa. All right. I'm going to have to remember that one. You know, I forget about wine. I give wine the cold shoulder sometimes. I kind of just I kind of just fall onto beer every now and then. I've heard Costco vodka tastes just like Grey Goose. Half the price. Costco has some good booze. I think Costco just has everything good. Also, let's hopefully get the sneak attack on the Keeper before they swarm us. Like, every time you're in this Apocrypha. <laughs> Shit. Okay. I'm just going to reload. Yeah. I feel the pain. I feel the pain, she reading. I feel the pain. What the heck? That was 15 times damage? Oh my god, this one's huge. Well, guys, we... M <laughs> we may just uh, be sneaking through this section. Ah, oh, too bad. It is. How's Dragonborn treating you? Well, it's been treating me very well. <laughs> it's just a sign of a good time, lady. Um... Dragonborn has been treating me well, except for these Seekers. 
I mean, they just swarm you, man. They're they're so annoying. I also need to. Do, I also see. There we go. I'm I'm gonna reload one more time. I was reading chat. <laughs> I'm also becoming to the point where I know I need to uh, upgrade smithing because my daggers are no longer doing sufficient damage to one-shot them. So I need to start upgrading. Is this the book we need? Probably not. Ooh, I will take it though. That's probably the next book we need. The good thing is, though, we did get sneaked to 100. It, it, yeah, it really is. We did get sneaked to 100, so we can do the Shadow Assassin and, you know, become invisible when we're far enough away, which is very helpful to this build. I'm going to... I'm going to put a bow on and try and draw them away and just sneak by. Hoping they, hoping they go over there and I can get behind them. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I like that. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully without the seekers. Uh, I, I support. I support it all being books. Hopefully without the seekers. <laughs> Oh, what do we have up there? I'm going to quick save just because getting past them is a milestone. On to chapter three. Nothing wrong with that Skyrim atmosphere. Lots of books. I think this sounds great. I agree with you, lady. Nothing wrong with some reading. Okay, here's a question. Does it have the swirling papers? Uh... I, they, I know they just stopped, but I hope you saw them right before. Oh, oh my god, they caught us again. This is rough. <laughs> Gonna go invisible here. Get the, get the skill book. I do remember that from my last playthrough. Gonna take the other Apocrypha. Oh, we're supposed to go the other way. You've been there, you know the carnage. I do know the carnage. I think we're invisible right now, thankfully. Ooh, okay, sweet. That is very helpful. Alright, let's try and actually sneak by. Here's the problem. These tentacles give us away when they uh, try and hit us. Okay, well, we got one. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. There we go. Ooh, that is trippy, guys. That is trippy. Grab a save. Okay, okay. So, uh, got any got any crazy plans for the weekends, anyone? Lady, she, anything crazy? Or are we just drinking wine and reading? <laughs> Which is still a great plan. Okay, do we hit that yet? Where are we going? Okay, we're going across. I guess we have to. Guess we have to. Alright, well it didn't open the way we needed, but we'll take it. That was uncomfortable. Glass mace of shocks. It's very expensive. Take it. I think 
this animus. That's actually less, but I need that enchantment for the soul gems. Although I feel like that's a pretty common enchantment. I think I'm going to drop it. And then I'll get rid of... Uh, I'll get rid of that. Sorry, I was gone for a few minutes. Not big plans. Was going to have a fire, but just relaxing tonight. Crazy week at work. Ooh. Well, that, ex that explains... Uh, that explains the wine. Nothing like a little unwinding after a crazy week. Hey, enjoying wines and Skyrim. Uh, I needed to read those last two letters. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is never a bad time for some Skyrim. And prepping for Orlando. Very nice. Orlando. Orlando. That makes me think of the Book of Mormon. All right, I think we have to grab this other book over here. Have you seen the Book of Mormon? There we go. There's so many books here. Ooh, let's try and not run off this. Uh, let's try and not fall. A font of magicka. Very nice. happening oh he was right next to the door come on guys come on all right we're just gonna slug fest this guy out never mind we're just gonna die <laughs> how do you like the headset it is a steel series i really like the headset the mic is just okay um which is why I have this thing. Okay, well, yeah, we're gonna definitely auto stay rather than doing it all. Um, but yeah, I, I do like the headset. I do like it. It's a Steel Series Arctis, I wanna say seven. I think it's a seven. And also, we need to remember there's an invisible seeker right next to us. <laughs> Okay, we're going down. Going to Epcot with my bow. Sorry to hear you had a rough week. Pour yourself an extra glass. There you go. All right, let's reload. I keep forgetting that they are invisible. <laughs> Gosh, make make me have a glass. <laughs> I really apologize. One second. Okay. We're good to go. <laughs> I, I posted on Twitter. And I'm getting a bunch of Twitter notifications. So I just need to mute everything. Okay. Sneaking is working horribly right now. Horribly. Can we disappear? That's the real question. <laughs> What is happening? What is happening? Okay. <laughs> the tunnel sank. Oh god, it's doing it again. That's like messing with my eyes. <laughs> okay, uh... I guess we go back outside and try again.
I think they can just see through our clever disguise. Yeah, how do they keep doing that? Because they're not even looking at us. That's really annoying. Alright, well, let's heal. Like in the camaraderie in chat. <laughs> Alright, so that one's that one's fake on the right. Should be a doppelganger. Oh, that's acid. Reload that quick save. <laughs> it does. It's like little baby Cthulhu. Okay, so he's dead ahead of us, but he keeps seeing us every time we walk out here. Which is really infuriating. I'm just trying to... Uh, okay, he's right there. I'm trying to figure out which way we're supposed to go here. Actually, that's probably the smart move before we try and uh, before we try and sneak through it all. I should probably actually find out where I need to go. Because it'll be a lot easier once I know the destination. I remember the first time I played Dragonborn. I was disappointed. Now I really enjoy it. I don't know what my issue was. I don't know. The only thing that kind of disappoints me about Dragonborn is uh, some of the moments like this. Like, some of the black books are just very unnecessarily confusing, if you know what I mean. Although I get that it's, like, part of the aesthetic. Let's see if I can actually get the sneak attack. Nope. <laughs> he saw me right before. I should have just rolled, rolled into him and tried it. I think we have the Slugfest win, though. Uh, let's heal. Oh, well, he disappeared. Alright, we've, we've committed too much. We're not dying now. There we go. I think a lot of it was the scenery. I loved Locust Skyrim so much and was thrown off by Dragonborn. But now I appreciate the contrast. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And it's kind of cool seeing, uh, just just because I played Morrowind, it's kind of cool seeing Solstheim covered in ash instead of snow. And we got it. You're right, you're right. We did get it. It only took a couple potions and a lot of patience. <laughs> All right, so we're supposed to go that way. How does that work out? Hermaeus Mora may as well be the god of confusion. I really recommend it, lady. You may want to try Oblivion before you uh, step into Morrowind, though. It can be a pretty rude awakening. It's very old school. Okay, I think we actually finally found the way to go. I mean, if you like D&D, you'll probably like Marwin because all of it's like based on hard skill checks and like dice rolls and stuff rather than uh just kind of swinging. <laughs> I have them, it's just that my gaming list seems never to end. I feel that. Maybe I'll commit to hitting up the other Elder Scrolls game after Fallout 2. Hey, I think that's a good idea. I still need to play Fallout 1 and 2. Uh, that's my own fault. Alright, we got another Seeker upstairs. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab a quick save. I kind of just want to do the entire, you know, Bethesda anthology. Okay, we got this guy who's got his back to us. Uh... Okay, the problem is, him coming down the stair is going to see us. Alright, we're just going to go for it, and then if we have to reload, I'm going to just do a potion of invisibility. Yeah, okay, I figured. <laughs> I think we're just going to run by here. Is this game where I ripped the butterfly swings off, or was it Marwin? No, it was this one. 
It was this one. Alright, let's hit the scry. What did it open? Okay, we got the gate open downstairs. There's so many seekers, they're almost not worth it. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ouch. <laughs> God, I hate the Seekers. They're they're the, probably the most annoying thing about um about Dragonborn. It's just there's just a thousand of them. All right, let's try this again. Oh, we have a lurker. Oh, I gotta, I gotta remember. I gotta get out of there. That's poison. We don't like poison. <laughs> you want to be traumatized? Play Dead Space. <laughs> Destructo and I were talking about Dead Space earlier today, lady. If you've ever had the pleasure of playing it. I think we just got a select bus. Let's grab a heal. No, thank you, sir. Dodge that guy. Oh, what's up, casual? How's it going, man? Hey, it's Jack. You just missed Destructo, dude. Ouch. This is going very well, guys. Oh, please don't kill me. Man, it's hard when you can't sneak. Looking spiffy. Thank you, man. <laughs> I just came back from a friend's wedding. Don't worry, it wasn't my own. <laughs> you know what? Oh god. I was trying to I was trying to pop a magic potion right there and then heal. My brain lapsed. I was talking to you beautiful people. Alright, let's go back in. All right, I know the leaker, the lurker is spawning now. So, how was your day, casual? By the way, did you? Sh oh no, I think Lady said you didn't stream, or did you? Either way, I hope it went well, man. All right, let's get this guy out of the poison, and then fight him. Go away! You don't see me. Ah, he sees me. No, you're not tripping. Don't worry. Destructo thought too. <laughs> I was wondering if anyone would notice. I I had uh, I put in the contacts for the wedding. You know, I I balled out a little bit. I hate that I can't sneak up on this guy. Day's been good, no stream. Hey, well, I'm glad it went good, man. Am I, am I really gonna die again? Ah, yes. Adios mio. I'm just gonna pop an invisibility right here. We'll, we'll, we'll make this easy. I'm determined to host you, man. I know our our, our schedules are so are so similar. <laughs> it will happen, though. You can bet on it. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> All right, let's actually get on this guy now. There we go. See, isn't that so much easier when we can actually sneak? <laughs> So why the tux? The tux is because I was at my friend's wedding earlier today. And I thought, man, 
I never get to wear a tux, and I have it for one more night. So I may as well leave it on. I paid... I paid 270 bucks to rent this thing. You know, I'm, I'm gonna at least get a stream out of it, right? <laughs> exactly, lady. See, that's what I was thinking. I was like, when's the next time I'm gonna wear a tux? You know? May as well. May as well. And plus, I was too lazy to change at the venue, so I came straight home after the wedding and uh, and just decided to go straight into streaming. <laughs> Random question. It is the Steel Series Arctic, yes. Lady actually asked that similar question. Or that same question. Uh, that was... That was some good English right there. Lady, your wine is showing, but my beer is showing. <laughs> Great minds. There you go. I think this is this is either the Arctis 5 or the Arctis 7. I can't remember. No, it's not the Arctis Pro. It's either the 5 or the 7. It's uh, it's not the Bluetooth one. All right, let's uh Ooh, that looks that looks foreboding, everyone. How comfortable. <laughs> How comfortable. That's important. What book? Oh God! What book would we like to place? It's actually very comfortable, Jack. <laughs> don't you don't need to apologize, man. <laughs> it's comfy. It's comfy, guys. Um, I'm thinking gnashing blades sounds pretty cool. Oh God! I hate these guys. They're so annoying. Can we petition to have Seekers removed from Soulstein? Do we have healing left? Uh, we have regeneration. Okay, that's a bad, bad sign. <laughs> Riot, dude, I'm telling you. I think we just have to place the books, so we're just going to probably ignore them. I mean, you, you fight like a hundred of them. Dude, they're so... Yes, fucking Seekers, I'm telling you. They're so annoying. The problem is you have to fight like a thousand of them. You know, just to get through the DLC. <laughs> there we go. Alright, I'm gonna pop some Magicka here. Just so I can heal. Because I'd really not like to uh, deal with their BS. Alright, so what do we do here? <laughs> you gotta do it. You gotta do it. Uh, do we hit the pillar? That's my guess. There's so much collateral fire here. Can we just go straight in? Oh, thank God. Oh, I really didn't want to fight them. Woo! <laughs> you gotta go get it ready. Greater Soul Gem. Okay, healing. Ooh, war magic. Too bad I don't use war magic. Sorry, guys. I use uh, I use the sneaky magic. Uh, let me put a muffle on. 
See, I, I told Destructo to remind me next time I'm in town to buy potions. I hope I hope someone else will take his <laughs> following. <laughs> I will I will not bend to your will, Jack. No. <laughs> I'm a I'm a spellblade, man. I'm I'm just doing illusion. Is that what the people want? They want to see flames. I require war magic. All right, I'll use some flames. You know what? Come back next streams, and then I'll and then I'll use some flames. Oh, that was so sneaky. I missed. Oh, you teleported. Come on, man. Don't be a coward. One handed 79. Just gonna grab this. Okay, sounds good, yeah. And you know what? Next next stream you come back, I'm gonna say I'm gonna use I'm gonna use some more magic on the next stream. And then I have you. <laughs> oh crap, what the hell? That went poorly. <laughs> Fair trade, I agree. I I chose poorly. Yo, can I like not die right here? Ooh. Ooh, okay, this is uh this is rough. Let's see, do I have to reread the book? Let's let's try rereading the book. Oh, you got the you got the glass for she reading. Good job. Alright, let's try. You won't forget what you did for me, Sam. Let's try this again, guys. You've never seen the Indiana Jones, man? Oh, you gotta see it. Alright, let's get Dragon Rend on. Because we're gonna want to keep him grounded. All right, guys, I'm swallowing my pride. <laughs> He's one-shotting us. <laughs> there we go. Uh, you didn't see anything right there. Oh no, you saw Crystal Skull. Please don't. Please don't let that leave a poor taste in your mouth. What is what is happening? Okay, so that's why you know it. That's why you know that reference. All right, we're gonna try this again. Am, is it saying I'm in combat? I am not in combat. I promise. Let's try this again. There we go. You know that from Monty Python, really? What scene is that from? I I I am lost, honestly. Okay, can we sneak around this dragon? Yeah, you got to see Raiders, man. Raiders is essential. It's a must. It's a must watch. Or do we cast Bend Will on this guy? Let's try that, actually. Where are you? Can I not use a shout? I don't think I can shout in this dimension. I can't. Wow, that's, uh, that's pretty terrible. Okay. <laughs> They had a skit of it. I didn't know that. Alright, take take what for? <laughs> I 
I am glitching and I can't attack. I'm not sure what that's about. Wow. <laughs> All right, Bethesda, that, that was a little unfair. Interesting. Use the Bindwill shout to same. Okay. Take four. I have to use the Bindwill shout on him. And I tried, but it wouldn't let me. But we're going to try again. <laughs> Jones Sr. and Jr., yeah. What is the air... Oh, yes. What is the airspeed velocity of an un unladen swallow? African or European, Casual Jack? African or European? Also, the Black Knight. Another, another timeless skit from Monty Python. <laughs> That's perfect, dude. We are the Knights who say me. All right, bend well. Okay. All right, Bethesda. Let's try it. Let's try this again. Yo, I hit him with the shout. What more do you want? <laughs> Am I reading this correctly? Use the Ben Will shout to tame him. Okay. I tried. I'm confused. Does he have does he have to be weakened? Cause I definitely hit him with the shout. Guessing he has to be weakened. It's been, it's been a hot minute since I've done this quest. Where are you? There you are. This is going very poorly. <laughs> Alright, we may put that one on hold for right now. Alright, so Jack, you clearly are a Monty Python fan. Did you ever see any of the other Monty Python movies or just Holy Grail? All right, where is that mead hall? Because we do have another quest that we need to take care of over here. Ancient Nordic pickaxe, we did that one. Not the leaders for work. All right, let's see what happened to the pickaxe. I feel like there needs to be some wine in Skyrim in, in my near future. Lady, if you go play wine and just... If you go play wine, there's some good English. <laughs> if you go play Skyrim and drink wine, power to you, girl. You you have you have my permission to leave stream if that's where you're headed. <laughs> All right, let's uh Life of Brian, not them all. Not a proper big fan. I should watch more. No worries, man. I, I've actually only also seen uh, Life of Brian and Holy Grail. I've seen a little bit of The Flying Circus, like their TV show, but probably only an episode here or there. I mean, what I did see, I liked, but, you know. Also, Jack, aren't you... You're, you're, in, um, you're in wonderful Great Britain, right, mate? If so, what what time of what time of day is it over there for you, man? Time you explored the mine, you almost fell to your death. <laughs> I'm not spending the rest of my days. Yes, huh. I remember. I remember some things. Who in the blazes are you? Can't you see I'm busy? He's actually Irish. 
Oh, yes, the Irish, the man that doesn't like Guinness. I remember he doesn't like Guinness. <laughs> 5.43 a.m. Okay, man. Are you, uh, are you staying up or are you just waking up? I guess are better questions. Perhaps I could help. Maybe. It's been difficult trusting people. Staying up, you are stronger than I, casual. Hats off to you, my friend. My word. Mine told a secret that could put Ravenloft back on the map. I think I think I had I think I hit about three AM max now. And I'm toast. I'm toast, man. I can't do it anymore. I used to pull all nighters all the time. I can't do it anymore. A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries. All right, we're getting after the East Empire Company, everyone. A okay, if you like Monty Python, I recommend a funny thing that happened on the way to the forum. It's like a musical Monty about ancient Rome. Hey, that sounds up my alley. I think we'll all have to check that one out. When I was working, I was a night manager of a hotel, so my sleeping pattern has been to be awake through the night for the last six years. Okay, that makes a little more sense. That's that's uh, that's funny. Another one of the regulars, I'm sure you remember DJ, he is also a night manager at a hotel. <laughs> I don't know if you knew that or not. He, he wasn't working the last few days. But he is a night manager at a hotel. <laughs> Small world, man. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery. Yeah, I gathered. You're right. Okay, you're right. That is a pretty. That is a pretty dead giveaway. It is. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value. It is. Well, I assume. He was telling me he had some uh, some very unpleasant German customers the other day. <laughs> Apparently, he had a pretty rough day at work. I was like, I'm sure. I'm sure you get some. Uh, some not so happy people every now and then at, uh, at a job like that. I admit it sounds suspicious. Although I wasn't listening to you, I was talking to Casual. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Why are you telling me all of this? Look, my wife Nash said I've not you, this guy. <laughs> All right, casual. What's uh? Because you said that, I obviously have to follow up with. What was the worst customer you ever had? I gotta know. I'm curious now. I do. I want to know what happened to Gracian. Gracian kept a journal of notes about his discovery. Here's everything I have: the letter, the key. All right. Retrieve Gratian Carelius's journal. Okay. All right, we're going into a mine. Very nice. That sounds better than uh, fighting that dragon again. <laughs> I'll figure that one out off stream. I never have any customers that I consider the worst. You get some that are irritating and whatnot, but nothing to be considered that bad. Okay, I mean, that's good. That's good, yeah. I remember I worked at... Um, I'm not sure if you were in the stream or not when I was talking about it, but I worked at a water park as a lifeguard. So I had to do lots of, uh, lots of, uh, face-to-face -face customer service. I had some, some pretty bad customers. <laughs> the most interesting was a guy, probably about 50 or 60, he tried cooking a cabbage in a kettle in his room. <laughs> and it stunk the entire floor. <laughs> Dude, people will really do anything in a hotel. They really will. That's hysterical, man. Looking to protect yourself or deal some. I can totally see some some old, you know, some old guy sitting there uh, in the, with the tea kettle, trying to boil himself some cabbage. And that's only something a fifty to six year old guy would do too. Uh, no, we're not selling those. I got six elven boots. Oh my god. Sell them all. Sell those. Sell that. 
I've also walked in on two guys and two girls <laughs> get, get a porno. <laughs> That's great, man. Now, I'm sure that was an interesting night on the job. How do you play that off? Do you, do you just say, do you just apologize? Like, I don't really know what you do there. All right, we're going to sell that one, too. Yeah, we'll get rid of the troll pelt. Wow, Jack, it sounds like you have some interesting road stories, my man. <laughs> That's hysterical. That is so funny, dude. Oh, he, he has more. Get an order from a room for some drinks. Six people in there doing coke off the table. Offered me 100 euros to stay quiet, which I didn't take because that's not worth my job. Hey, man, I respect the fortitude. That's crazy. Oh, I actually have to go to that. You're startled in the moment. I just walked out, told my boss, and he kicked them out. Fair enough, dude. I think he made, I think he made the right call. Job, 100 euros. I think, I think, yeah, smart decision. Why See, man, you, you just kicked out too. Lucky the cops were called. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're going into the mine now. Yeah, I had some, uh, I had some really, really dumb people, uh, at my, de to deal with when I was in my lifeguarding job. That was when I had the most exposure to, hu you know, normal human beings. I never had, uh, I, I never walked in on a porno. <laughs> I just had people get very angry at me. You win, you win this round, casual. <laughs> All right, let's try the other side. Why would they get angry? Oh, for anything, man. Anything and everything under the sun. I kid you not. So I worked in the wave pool and we're like one of the deepest wave pools in the south. So uh, tons of people would not drown, but you know, would start drowning before you know we had to save them. And uh, ooh, we've got that guy. And I, I've had people get mad at me for pulling them out of the water, even though they were drowning. I've had people get mad at me for... So there, there's a rope at the front of the machine that sucks in the water to then create the waves. I apologize for hitting the mic. Um, we had people get mad at us for swimming under the rope and then telling them they had to leave and, you know, get out. Because they were going to be sucked into the machine that made the waves. Like, do you want to die? <laughs> I, I've had people scream at me for not getting them inner tubes for, you know, e anything and everything. It's ridiculous. I mean, I, I kid you not, anything and everything. Telling people not to run screamed, you know. Yeah, yeah, a lot of, lot of interesting people. I'm just like, all right, guys. My job is to keep you alive. I'm sure you'd be very happy if you just let me do my job. <laughs> like I'm, there's a reason I'm telling you not to get close to the wave machine. <laughs> Alright, we are getting all the sneak attacks this time. This is very nice. I've been to Typhoon Lagoon in Florida, which I believe is the biggest wave pool in the world. Wow. You can see the machine underneath the goggles. Thing sucks with some serious power. I bet, dude, it does. I was not at Typhoon Lagoon, so if I miss, I, I may have misspoke. I thought I worked at Whitewater, um, but I'm sure it's the same kind of technology. You know, that thing, that thing, one of the biggest in the South. Okay, yeah. But but there there is some serious horsepower under the waves that people do not realize, <laughs> and it's like, all right, guys, when this thing is on, you do not go there. <laughs> I'm just just trying to help you. <laughs> Ooh, we have a tomb attached to the mine. I see. All 
All right, do we uh, sneak attack some more Draugr who are asleep? Oh, here we go. Yes, we do. Good night. Does your other half play games too? Oh, yeah, man. Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley for days. Days and days. She has about 70 more hours of playtime than me. <laughs> All right, I'm trying. I keep in my eye out for Draugr. I I always feel like they are uh, hiding underneath these. Okay, we got two in the seats. Did they stand up? That's the question. Never tried it. My girlfriend likes it though. If you're if you're looking for therapy in a video game, play Stardew Valley, man. It is the most relaxing thing you will ever experience. Good night. Okay, he's already dead. <laughs> It's like a, it's like a little better Animal Crossing. Although, uh, well, I guess they're kind of different. Stardew and chill, great game it is, man. It, it's a very great game. Highly recommend. All right, let's get this guy. He's up and around. There we go. Striking with power tonight. <laughs> but, I mean, my Stardew Valley farm is, is pales in comparison to my girlfriend's. It's ridiculous. Pales. I mean, she's a master. She knows everything. I know nothing. I am Jon Snow. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. They awake. Go to bed. <laughs> oh, do we... They turned away from us. Go to bed. Okay, there we go. One more. Nope. Ooh. Thank you. I always get scared when I have to swing twice. Dumb drugger, right? I kill their friend, and then they, they're like, what's that over there? <laughs> I'm okay with it, though. The only part where this build really far falls into pieces is if we have to fight a dragon. Because <laughs> dragons, you can't sneak around them. I was telling Lady earlier, I need, I need, a, I need to start buffing some smithing so I can upgrade my weapons for when I actually have to fight, you know? Although smithing, you can pretty dupe it. Dude, I would be so down for that. Are you kidding me? I would love that. I've already promised you guys I'll be, I'll be letting you know if I ever pick up 76. Don't bet on it. But if it ever happens, you'll be the first to know. Okay, we got an alchemy lab. Hmm. Boar tusk, fire salts, thank you. I may spam some alchemy here just for a second. Just we have, we have so many ingredients right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, lady. I need to stop talking. <laughs> oh, we can make invisibility? Oh, no. Okay. Never mind. I got excited. Now this is now this is gaming right here. This is compa combine random things. All right, we're done. <laughs> Too many games. I'm telling you, I have 74. I have 74 games in my Steam library, which is a lot better than most. I mean, a lot smaller than most. That's what I meant to say. I've probably beaten 10 of them. And then I also have the Epic Game Store. And GOG. And I probably have another 10 in each of those. Oh my god, what the hell? Okay. I'm just gonna run at it. <laughs> yeah, you're on 113. Yeah, I know. I'm... I'm... Oh, 
Oh, you have you play too. Oh, I forgot about Origin. You're right, I have Origin too. Crap, I have Battlefield 1. And Need for Speed. Yeah, there are just too many games, man. I was telling Destructo earlier before uh, before y'all joined. Like, it's a blessing and a curse to live when we do right now. Because there's so many good games. But there's not enough time to play them all. <laughs> Especially when you have a game like The Witcher or Skyrim that you can sink 300 hours into, you know? Alright, that's a Death Lord, and he saw us. So, we're gonna go away and hopefully drop aggro. There we go. Alright, let's try this again. Dude, I feel that. It's like you have so much to play, you have nothing to play. Okay, very nice, very nice. Damn, that's a crazy sword. <laughs> Damn, that's a crazy sword. Okay, we're attaching that. Let's favorite that. Unfavorite that. I play one game on stream regularly, and that is Conan. Very nice. I need to look into that. Have a nice time gaming. See you later. I need to do a bit of gaming. Okay, I missed that. I have too much wine. <laughs> I'll stop my game if you're still on. All right, JD. Have a nice night. Nice nice of you to stop by, lady. Hope to see you back. I'd, I'd tell you to have another glass for me, but I think you're going to do it anyway, so. <laughs> have a good night. Do you play uh, Conan Exiles? Is that what you meant, Casual? That's the only Conan game I know. I just want to make sure there's not another one out there. Alright, bye, JD. <laughs> okay. Is it... I mean... I, I need your honest opinion. Is it a good game? Because I heard very mixed reviews when it came out. Or is it like a 76 where uh, it kind of had to grow a little bit? All right, easy money. Everybody's facing away from us today. Good night. Finally an enchanter. I really enjoy it for 10 pounds, 15 bucks. You can't go wrong. I never realized it was that cheap. Wow. All right, we need to disenchant some of this stuff we're never gonna use. I'll keep the smithing. Keep the haggling. Resist magic, yeah. Necklace of wielding. Ooh, that'd actually be very good right now. Get rid of the magic. Get rid of the haggling. It's a survival game, so your playtime is your own imagination. The only survival game I actually got really into was probably The Forest, if you've ever heard of The Forest. All right, this is an expert lock. How many? I have 29. Ooh. I'll have to look into it. I just remember that it was like the biggest thing ever. You find it very fun. I'll have to look into it. I, I remember a lot of people are saying it was hilarious. Like you could do a lot of really funny, just like dumb things in a Kona. Especially that character creation. <laughs> That was another thing I heard a lot about. Because, you know, what What gets more publicity than uh, naked people? <laughs> Alright, after this... <laughs> I'll indulge, I always say. I mean, if you have the option, you know, why wouldn't you choose it? All right, what do we have here? Ice spike, very nice. All right, after this dungeon, I'll probably end stream. It's getting pretty late over here. I've had a very long day and a lot of beer. <laughs> so a heads up to Jack and he lurkers. Come here, friend. Don't fool around with me like that. I'll have to look into Conan. 
My, my thing, I guess, was a lot of other survival games kind of came out at that time. You had Ark, you had Conan, you had The Forest, and they all kind of just, like, came out at once. There were so many options that I almost never chose. The, the only one I, I did play was The Forest. I, I probably, I may stream that one time. I mean, it's a very, very fun game. Ark is clunky. I've never, uh, I've never actually played Ark. What would you relate Ark to the most if you had to pick another game? Alright. I think we're nearing the end of this dungeon here. Oh my, what do we have here? An incredible discovery. Alright, we're just dropping down. Alright, let's, uh, let's try and get around here. There we go. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't play it enough. I mean, fair enough, man. Alright, so uh, we have a door. How do we get through this door? Is there is there a puzzle somewhere here? we got to figure out. Let's see what this dragger has. Any clues? Anyway, mate, uh, I'm going to join JD on Fallout. Nice seeing you. All right, man. Thanks for stopping by. Have a great night. Play some good Fallout. Always a pleasure to see you. All right, we got the journal. That's what we needed. Let's let's read it. All right, here's Gracian's journal. All right, I received a letter from the Eastern Power Company today. They say that some of the miners broke through the wall in the shaft three of Raven Rock Mine and found some ruins. I hope this isn't another waste of time like that fiasco they sent me to in Cyrodiil. I'll gather my assistant Milius and sail back to Raven Rock at first light. It'll be nice to see the old house and Solstheim again. Okay, I'm not going to read all of this, but no problem. Enjoy the rest of your stream. See you later, man. All right, thanks for stopping by, man. Take it easy. Have a good night. All right, let's see if there's let's see if there's any clues here for the door. Okay, maybe the blade. All right, the blood skull blade. Not certain if I should remove it yet. I think I'll sleep on it. Decide against my own better judgment to remove the blood skull blade. Well, I think you did it, cause we have it. <laughs> the moment the blade was lifted, we were set upon by Draugr. He fought bravely, but he fell. Okay, we'd be finding a way out of this place, but I fear that I'm trapped. Exploring has been slow. Can only move for maybe a few minutes at a time before I have to rest. Supplies are running low, and I'm feeling weaker by the hour. He was dying, guys. <laughs> okay, a strange door. There appears to be something missing. They've confounded my attempts getting through. I'll have to study this further in order to make any progress. I can barely keep awake. I'm fairly certain that the key to the door involves the use of the blood skull blade. Okay, so maybe you just swing at it. A ribbon of mystical energy emanating from it. I think by swinging the sword in different directions, it's possible to manipulate this ribbon and solve the puzzle. Each swing is a huge effort. Okay. My refunes refuse to heal. I'm afraid this tomb will come my resting place. If anyone finds this journal, please send these notes to my superiors. Tell my wife. All right, guys, we found the key, which is the blade itself. I'm guessing we have to uh, slash. Yeah, there we go. Okay, now we're making progress. Hoo -hoo. Okay. All right, downward slash up here. Feels like a lightsaber or something. <laughs> oh, that was wrong. That was also wrong. I think we need some stamina. It's a power attack. There we go. Oh, we have to do it again. Okay. Nope. This one. Ah, oh, we got. We need stamina. I'm just gonna drink a potion to make this a little quicker. And uh, one more. All right, guys, we did it. Open sesame. 
There we go. Let's go back to the knife. <laughs> it's more our speed. Oh, hello. Hello. Excuse me. Thank you. Oh. Excuse me. Thank you. Ow. <laughs> you know, for guillotines, they really don't hurt that much. <laughs> Not very punishing. I am going to heal, though. I don't want to get cocky. There we go. One more. There we go. Alright, let's grab another quick save. Alright. Walking in. Walking in, walking in. Assume a trench knife. Grab a crow sword. One absolute toaster waffle. Thank you for the follow, man. Hope you're having a great night. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Alright, gold. Oh, that looks bad. <laughs> that is a dragon priest, my friends. Alright, uh, so we need to sneak attack him because that's 100% what our build is based on. So, we are... Ooh, how do we play this? I think I may try and uh, do the old bone arrow trick and draw him to the other side of the room and sneak up behind him. All right, go look at this, my friend. All right, let's uh, let's try this with a uh, invisibility invisibility potion. <laughs> just just for luck, just for extra luck. All right, all right, all right. Ooh, oh god, I blew my cover. It was so sneaky, I missed. I didn't even hit him. <laughs> Oh, he thick. He thick. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Hopefully Shadow Assassin covers me right here. Oh, no, he still sees us. Alright, well, we're gonna try and slugfest him, and if it fails, I'm gonna reload that quick save, and we're gonna go for the sneak attack again. Guys, I actually think he's bugged, because he's not attacking us. <laughs> Oh, he's totally bugged. Okay. Thank you, Bethesda, for the free uh, Dragon Priest. You see this? Am I tripping, Absolute Waffle? <laughs> oh. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. <laughs> that was a little bit of bug Bethesda right there. Anyone? All right. Free real estate, guys. <laughs> Free and easy down the road I go. All right, we got the word of power. Let's cast candlelight so we can actually see what's around here. That's not candlelight. Let's check our journal. Retrieve the ancient Nordic pickaxe. Well, let's go actually loot the chest now. Alright, it's empty. Well, we got the dragon priest mask, so that's pretty sweet. What was the word of power we grabbed? Let me check. We got an, uh, we finished Bend Will, which is pretty sweet. Alright, what do we have here? Oh, we have another black book. Alright, the Winds of Change. So there's another Hermaeus Mora thing we got going on. Alright, diving on in with Cthulhu. <laughs> Let's grab a quick save here before we get in too deep. 
Alright, let's learn the hidden knowledge, guys. Oh, please stop. <laughs> oh, there's a seeker up here to the right. I'm just gonna roll on by. We don't need to fight him. I'm just gonna roll on by. Oh, there's one. Right in front of us. Let's go by. It's a stealth build, you know? This is what we do. I'm trying to see what's on that table over there. Ooh, greater soul gems. Thank you very much. Alright, scry. Oop. Oh, we got found out. <laughs> We're just gonna roll for it. Roll for it. Roll for it. There's so many seekers. I fought so many seekers. You know, I almost don't want to keep fighting them. Actually, I really don't want to keep fighting them. <laughs> We're going to stealth assassin, see if we can drop the aggro. Does he see us? Oh, dang it. He did see us. All right, we can kill this guy, though. Thankfully, they don't hurt too bad anymore. Now they hurt a lot, a lot hurt a lot worse earlier. Good night, my friend. Good night, sweet prince. All right, let's grab a heal here, guys. Hey, and the best thing. None of those sneakers caught up. <laughs> sneakers. None of those seekers caught up with us. <laughs> Ooh, a black soul gem. Very nice. Words and philosophy. Let's check that out. Okay, why is words and philosophy increasing your two-hand? That's my question. Seems a little strange, doesn't it? Alright, let's activate this scry. Where to next? All right, just beyond. All right, let's activate this one too. I think we probably have to have have a chain here. Yeah, exactly. Oop, the winds of change. All right, well we've done it, whatever it is. <laughs> All right, here we go. Companion's Insight. Your attack shouts and destruction spells do no damage to your followers. You may only accept one ability at, at a time. Do we really care about our followers that much, guys? I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, Absolute? <laughs> Reading skill books gives you an extra skill point. That's pretty nice, actually. Do 10% more damage and get 10% better prices from people of the opposite sex. I mean, that is pretty nice. I don't know how consistent that is. Oof. Oof. Big choices. Skillbooks gives you an extra point. So two points and everything. I mean, that's pretty nice. We don't care about our followers. We don't use them when, when we don't need to. 10% more damage. That sounds pretty good. But I'm I'm trying to think what the actual sexes of most of the most of our enemies are. They're all probably men. I think I'm gonna take the scholar. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take the uh the book. I will accept. Scholar's insight added. Very nice. Alright, to Soul's time, we go. Guys, we're almost still up 31. That's pretty sweet, isn't it? <laughs> we are big money now. Big city living. Alright, let's try and uh, use this Arcane Enchanter for a minute. I think I need to switch to the one-handed attacks, because that'll stack 
better with our current build. Yeah, that will definitely stack better. And then what was the mask we got? Let me check the mask. I mean the mask that we were given. We were we were pa basically given it. Increases shock resistance by 50% and shock spell damage by 25%. Cool. And I can wear it. Yeah, very nice. Very nice. Let's see what's in here, guys. Elven Gilded of Eminent Conjuring. Sweet. Scaled Boots. Okay, I can carry that. Soul Trapping. Ooh, it's worth so much, though. All right. We're going to drop some stuff and take that one. Ooh, just a car saver. What gets cut here? I think the just car saver. Excuse me, game, please. Just car saver. Good night. <laughs> Let's grab a save. Is there no exit from here? We're gonna check this room one more time, and then we're gonna head on out. If there's a uh, no exit, I know Bethesda usually likes to throw in the dungeon shortcuts. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go the long way if I don't have to. Pop that. Candlelight is always very nice to have. Alright, nothing there. Alright, guys, we're going the long way around. Oh, God. <laughs> run, 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 run. <laughs> they were all waiting on us. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. Okay, okay. Now, how do we get out from here? I thought that was a draw. I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I thought there was a dragger in the corner of my vision. Search the chest. Ooh, a glass war axe. Studded armor. Alright, I could I can still do math correctly. Thank God. I don't know if we can jump back out. So we are in an interesting position here. I need to get that whirlwind sprint. Okay, that's not going well. <laughs> Alright, let's see if the dungeon's cleared. Let me let me check my map. Well, we're not in a dungeon, so that's very helpful. Cannot fast travel. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to try and get out the old-fashioned way. Also, I'm not sure why I'm setting those off. Because I should... I should have the ability that... Uh, stops pressure plates from triggering? That's kind of confusing. But it's fine. It's fine. All right. Well, we can't get back out that way, so I must be missing a door somewhere down here. Not that way. Gonna guess it's uh, back in the dungeon room. Hey, at least we're finding a... We're still finding coin. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Easy money. You just have to walk at the blade. All right, so we came in this way. Let's try and go out the other way. I'm an idiot. I should have just gone up the stairs. <laughs> Guys, I was at a wedding today. I'm tired. Come here, break. Oh. 
open this up. Crawl on through. What do we have? What do we have? Gold, gold, gold. The holds of Skyrim. Very nice. Alchemy. Everybody's favorite. It failed. Not everybody's favorite. <laughs> Alright, tankards. Meat. Let's get a candlelight going. Glass mace. Ah. Uh. Death brand. Man, I thought I thought that was gonna be a skill book. Alright, well this is an interesting place. Is this the way we came? I think that's the way we came. It is. I'm surprised there's not any more uh loot. I'm wondering if this is where the dragon priest lived, question mark. Do they live? Do they live like normal people? Do they stay in their tomb until someone walks in? Oh, this is haunting. Apotheus boots. Ah, uh, it's less armor. Take the gold. Harvey target shield. No, thank you. Oh, I know where we are. We walked out of the opposite end. Yeah, I've, I've been in here. I've been in here. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. All right, guys. Well, I said I'd go to bed after we did the dungeon. Thank you, anyone, everyone and anyone for stopping by tonight. It was awesome. Shout out to any lurkers. Drop a follow. Like, uh, follow me on Twitter if you ever want to stay up to date with Coffee Nut Gaming. Thank you so much, guys. Y'all have a great night. It was an absolute pleasure. Don't expect me to be in a tuxedo next time. <laughs> Good night. And have a great one. I will see you next time.